Hello my beautiful family, welcome back to our kitchen and if you're new here my name is Claudia and I would love to invite you to hit that subscribe button so you too can be part of our family. Today we're going to share with you how to make a delicious chilorio. It's basically chili braised pork, perfect for burritos, tacos or just to serve it by itself with a side of rice and beans. If you would love to learn how I make this super easy and delicious recipe, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Okay so first we're going to begin by prepping our meat. So here I have three pounds of pork shoulder. We're going to cut into small cubes, so about two inches thick. So and I just like to use my fingers. So just like that. Okay, so once we have our pork shoulder cut into small cubes, we're going to season it with salt and black pepper. I'm going to be using one tablespoon of salt and two teaspoons of black pepper. Just mix it and coat all of the meat. Once we have our meat nice and coated with the salt and black pepper, we're going to set it to the side and now we're just going to work on our chiles for our adobo sauce. To make our adobo sauce in a small saucepan, we're going to add four chile guajillo, four chile pasilla, Four chiles de árbol, make sure that you clean them. And half of a small white onion. We're going to cover them with water. Set it on high heat and bring them to a boil. Once our chiles and onion come to a full boil, we're going to turn it off and transfer them to a blender cup. To the blender cup, we're also going to add 10 allspice berries, a half a teaspoon of cumin seeds, one teaspoon of chicken bouillon, one teaspoon of Mexican oregano, one teaspoon of black pepper. Along with five garlic cloves, one bay leaf, three tablespoons of vinegar, and one and a half cup of freshly squeezed orange juice. And now we're just going to blend everything together until we have a smooth sauce. And I almost forgot, but we're also going to add three whole cloves. So we're just going to continue blending. Okay, so once we have our adobo sauce, now we are ready to begin cooking. So now we're going to grab our oven safe pot. We're going to set it on medium heat, and we're just going to wait for it to heat up. And at this point, we're also going to preheat our oven to 275 degrees. To our pot, we're going to add one tablespoon of lard or oil. And we're going to wait for it to melt. Okay, so once our pot is hot, we're going to begin to brown our pieces of meat. So just make sure that you do this step in batches. Okay, so just give it a couple minutes and then flip it over. Okay, so after a few minutes, we're going to flip our meat over. We're going to give that side another couple minutes. After a couple minutes, our meat should look something like this. So now we're just going to remove it from the pot and we're going to repeat that same process to the rest of our meat. Okay, so once all of our meat is nice and brown, we're going to return it to our pot. Make sure you get the juices. Okay, so now to our pot, we're going to add our adobo sauce. Can grab a little bit of water and put in your blender cup so you can get the rest of the sauce. Now we're just going to mix our meat with the sauce. Okay, so now to our pot, we're going to add two bay leaves. We're going to cover it. And now carefully, we're going to place our pot in our oven. Okay, so now we're going to roast for two and a half to three hours. Alrighty guys, so it's been two hours and 30 minutes. I got my pot out of the oven and let me tell you that my house smells delicious. So now we're just going to carefully open our pot. We're going to remove our bay leaves. 
And of course, at this point, you also want to make sure that your meat is nice and tender. So we're just going to begin to smash it down and kind of shred our meat just by smashing it. Look how, ten look how tender that meat is. Okay, so once we have our meat all nice and smashed, at this point, you want to try it for salt and see if you want to add any. So just be careful because it's very hot. Mm, for me, it's perfect. It's seriously super delicious. Okay, so as we have our meat all nice and shredded, we're going to cover it and allow it to rest for 10 minutes. Meanwhile, we can get our tortillas ready. Okay, so I'm going to be using flour tortillas, and these are my favorite. So we're just going to preheat that. I already have the comal preheating, so we have it set on medium heat. And we're just going to allow them to cook. Okay, so flip the tortillas over once they blister. Give them a couple seconds and then they're done. Alrighty guys, and once we have all of our tortillas, now we are ready for the fun part. So of course, you grab as many as you want. Going to start with two tacos. And I'm going to be serving them with rice and beans. But of course, you can just enjoy them by itself or you can make burritos. Okay, I'm going to be adding some pickled onions. Slices of avocado. Alrighty, and just like that, now we are ready to enjoy our delicious tacos de chilorio. Alrighty guys, and now for the best part, the taste test. Now let me tell you guys that I hope you give this recipe a try. It's honestly super easy, super delicious. The meat is so tender, so flavorful, and you can have it so many different ways, even for breakfast, lunch, dinner. Um, you can have it for parties, for anything. Um, you know, I hope you honestly enjoy it just as much. Cheers and enjoy. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Seriously, the best. So good. And I forgot to squeeze a little bit of lemon, but even without it, it's so good, so flavorful. It doesn't need anything. Everything is on point. And the hardest part is just waiting. The meat's so tender. Mm. Perfect. Alrighty guys, and there you have it, how to make a delicious chilorio. I hope you guys had enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, share with your friends and family, and if you recreate this recipe, please don't forget to tag me in any of my social medias, and if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of our family. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.